Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody watching. This is what the past few hours are about to culminate into. It's the grand finale of House Party 5v5's Holy Sin Tournament. A quest to find the best Lee Sin player in House Party 5v5, and we've narrowed it down to two. Corrupt Hope versus Chicken Nugget in a best of five showdown to determine who ultimately will walk away with the crown and the title of Best Lee Sin House Party 5v5. Once again, I'm Captain Flowers here on the casting desk, joined by Jesus and Dev. Dev and I both have our championship skins on in celebration of this championship match, and here's hoping it's going to be a great one. Yeah, um, we're just going to go over the... Oh, I would say we go over the Runes and Masters one more time, but uh, my LSI is being a little bit buggy, but I'm sure they're running the exact same room page again. 28 armor, 1% crit chance, 8 AD. So, it's it, it sounds like a pretty solid plan on both sides. Yeah, we do have Corrupt Hope with plus 28 armor, so probably around the same masteries. Um, either 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 12, 0, 18, or 0, 18, or 0, 12, 18. Both these guys, starting with the triple Dorans once again, we've seen it be the most effective build across multiple matches. Both of these guys have got to where they are by knowing the ins and outs of this Lee Sin versus Lee Sin matchup, knowing the best way to get an advantage over your opponent in what should be a completely even match. So they both know that that Doran start is the best way to go. Nugget's going to be able to find some damage onto Corrupt Hope here nice and early. Both of these players have had very strong performances so far, and it's going to be really interesting to see them go head-to-head. -head. Corrupt Hope plays so aggressively in the early game, but Chicken Nugget has proved himself to be an absolute monster at out playing his opponents and making them end up in places they don't want to be with those Dragon's Rage kicks. It's going to be a great 1v1 to see who's actually able to pull out the mechanical advantage over their opponent. Yeah, it's always a good thing um, to see, but Chicken Nugget is a little bit behind right now. He does need to either try and use his mini wave or just try and heal up right now. Chicken Nugget not really going to be able to command a whole lot of presence in this lane until after those relics spawn and he's able to start regenerating some of his HP. Corrupt Hope's early aggression has set him behind a little bit, but we've seen Chicken Nugget be behind in the early game before. That's not really a detriment to him. He's not playing for that early game dominance. He's not playing for that early tempo advantage. He plays for the post level 6 when he's able to use the Dragon's Rage, knock his opponents under his turret, and take them down and outplay them. It's a contrast between a more early paced game and a more mid-paced game and right now corrupt hope is definitely winning out in his early based game yeah um Ch chicken nuggets good at uh at a uh, dunking him in the fryer as you would call it just waiting till six and throwing him right into turret but uh we'll have to see if he's able to do that against corrupt hope Corrupt Hope continuing to maintain all sorts of pressure. He's going to fade back for a moment, grab that health relic, just give himself that last little bit of health he needs to top himself off. It could be the difference between victory and defeat. You never actually know. Both these guys will hit level 6 relatively soon, and once they do, that's when the bloodbath can truly begin. That's when they're going to start having that kill potential onto each other, as now Chicken Nugget has the slight EXP advantage. He's level 6 compared to level 5. That will zone Corrupt Hope away until that passive EXP will allow him to level up as well. And now, a very large minion wave starting to build up for Chicken Nugget is a place that Corrupt Hope has to be careful of fighting in the middle of. Yeah, Chicken Nugget's doing decently well right now. He knew he was going to bounce off his turret. He's fighting properly in the minions. And Here comes the all-in. Ignite is down. Corrupt Hope might be in some trouble. Chicken Nugget Damn. able to find the kick. Sonic Wave flash away from Corrupt Hope. Able to keep him alive for the time being. First Blood! Chicken Nugget. He came from the loser's bracket, but he's a winner tonight. Game number one. <laughs> Stay right there, everybody. We're going to be back and live very shortly for game number two.
Welcome back, everyone. It's the grand finals of House Party 5v5's Holy Sin Tournament. A journey to find the best Lee Sin player in all of House Party 5v5. And lucky us, we've narrowed it down to two. This is a best of five to determine who's going to walk away with the crown. And it's going down between Corrupt Hope and Chicken Nugget. Chicken Nugget took game number one with a once again flashy show of skill after he had his ultimate available to himself. He knows how to make those plays happen, knows how to find the combo potential and bring his opponents down. And Corrupt Hope succumbed to the might of the chicken nugget. So it's going to be a 1-0 lead for him. This is a best of five, as I've already stated. So even if he wins this game, even if he goes up 2-0, and zero, he's still going to have to prove himself one more time afterwards. I'm Captain Flowers once again casting this match with Jesus and Dev. So, yeah. what do yeah. you think about chicken nuggets rise through the loser's bracket? Um, you know, his, loss in, his only loss in the tournament was to Corrupt Tuppet. Two corrupt tub in a best of one in the first round. Well, like Chicken Nugget is a is a very outstanding player. Um, I've known him for a little while, like not that long. Um, he joined Spooky Solution as their new mid laner. He seems to be showing that he has a good mechanics on a champion. He doesn't really seem to play that often, but um, it's it's all about it's all about you know just just timing. Chicken Nugget has definitely had one hell of a strong showing in this tournament here today, and he's looking to continue that. If he's able to make this a 3-0 sweep, like I mentioned in a previous match, we haven't actually seen any of these best of threes that happened today end up going 2-1. They were all 2-0s. The player who won game number one immediately wins game number two and shuts out their opponent. We're going to have to see if Chicken Nugget is able to keep that up and 3-0 his opponent for a truly dominating performance in this grand final. I'm interested to see what Corrupt Hope can do. He's he's had some pretty strong showings, but against some high high competition, I want to see how well he can shine. Neither one of these guys going too aggressive here early on. Corrupt Hope, who has played aggressively in a lot of his previous matches, playing a little bit further back this game, not going for anything too crazy just yet, but we're likely going to see him as the first aggressor. He's got the minion wave pushing towards Chicken Nugget. Chicken Nugget's going to be the one farming up under his turret, and like we talked about last game, he's perfectly fine doing that. He plays for those post-level six plays. He's not looking for that. He's not looking for the child's play. He's not looking for the, okay, we'll trade Qs, we'll trade Ws, level four and five, all right, whatever. I'll lose 20% health, you'll lose 20% health. He's looking for those game-ending plays once Second Rage is available. Corrupt Hope will be able to find that Sonic Wave onto Chicken Nugget. Chicken returns one of his own. Won't be able to find the Resonating Strike afterwards, though. Backs away and waits for the Minion Wave to hit his turret. Yeah, Chicken is just saying, well, I, I, can, I, I can give up farm. He doesn't mind giving up his farm at all against um, Corrupt Hope. Because he knows that when he gets a 6, he feels stronger. As he's seen from the last round, he just feels real stronger. Chicken Nugget, so comfortable playing passively and farming up. That's why this guy's a master tier player. The difference between very, very high level players and players who are at a high level but not quite that plateau just yet is the ability of the very, very high level players to be able to just play so passively. Chicken Nugget has no need to win this lane early on. He has no need to shove Corrupt Hope under his turret. He has no need to try to flex his muscles in this lane early on because he knows about his kill potential. He knows about his mechanical ability once he's got that level six. And once he sees a window, he takes it. He doesn't need to force the plays. Yeah, he's been, he's been playing every game smart, knowing when to take cues, knowing when to use his abilities, and just counter building waves when he gets shoved in. Health relics have spawned. Chicken Nugget going to pick up one of those. He's got a very slight health advantage over his opponent right now. Corrupt Hope will not be jumped on by that resonating strike. Some damage coming down from the Tempest Cripple. Chicken Nugget going to clean away that Ganon minion, but Corrupt Hope hitting level 7. And the Chicken Nugget's not able to find more aggro for the time being, but now that these guys are both there, this is around where we saw that first blood last time, and we might see it again here soon. Yeah, Corrupt Hope just having to step into tower if he wants to think about getting anything right now. And Chicken Nugget is always just prepping, just prepping to just throw down right on top of Corrupt Hope with a flash ultimate just to just launch him around the tower. I want to congratulate 
Corrupt Soaps for being the first Lee Sin I've seen to properly manage his energy. If you watch in the trades, even though the trades aren't going as well for Corrupt Soap as they could, he is managing his energy perfectly. Chicken Nugget starts the all-in, and here comes the fight. This is likely somebody going to die one way or the other. Chicken Nugget able to find the Dragon's Rage. Sonic Wave, Resonating Strike, Ignite is down as well. Corrupt Hope now very low. Chicken Nugget looks to want to pursue it a little bit further. Will not go all the way for that one. He takes Corrupt down very close to death, but he's not able to put the last nail in the coffin. Now Chicken Nugget has command over the lane. He doesn't have Ignite anymore. He doesn't have his ultimate anymore. He doesn't have that kill potential anymore, but now he has ownership over the momentum of the entire flow of the game. Corrupt Hope trying to return some of that pressure. Sonic Wave connects. Will Resonating Strike follow it up? The answer is no. Corrupt Hope now having the ability to farm up under his own turret as Chicken Nugget falls back, grabs some extra health and looks to reposition himself to continue the aggro that he has set in motion for himself. Yeah, Chicken Nugget has a little bit of a wave built up for him. He has five casters. He has two melees. Um, he's just he's, he's just trying to stay near Corrupt, trying to make sure he can't just freely get back his lifesteal. Even though Corrupt Hope is currently down in terms of tempo, he's currently ahead in terms of CS. He's winning the CS game, going in a little bit too deep onto Chicken Nugget here. Chicken Nugget might be able to take him down if he's got the resources he needs. Not quite having Dragon's Rage up, though. A kill will not be a possibility for the time being, but that cooldown is almost about to expire. Chicken Nugget, once he has Dragon's Rage up, will have kill potential onto Corrupt Hope once again, and Corrupt Hope has to be aware of that cooldown. The nice part about playing the same champion as the other guy, you've pretty much got the wiki right there on board. You're able to just hover over your own cooldown, see what his cooldown is, keep track of that, and never really be caught off guard by a Chicken Nugget going in deep once again. Tempest Cripple comes down, safeguard of the minion, won't be able to find the Sonic Wave, backs off. Both of these guys sitting around very similar health values now. Corrupt Hope still has summoners available to use. Yeah, level 10 hits. Um, I'm unsure what all these leasons are maxing in these games. But Here they go deep maxing. once again. Corrupt Hope looking to make this engagement his own. The kick away from Chicken Nuggets defensively will not be able to land the Sonic Wave in retaliation to follow up, add some more damage onto that one. And now Corrupt Hope might potentially be in some more trouble. Chicken Nugget continues to dial in these Sonic Waves, making this thing look like a targeted ability. One after the other, these things are connecting, and Corrupt Hope is continually forced back. Yeah, Chicken has to realize that right now he said, okay, I, I, he went to go for the execution, he went to ult Q, but the knockup damage didn't kill one of the small groups. Corrupt still has Here we go again, Corrupt Hope in some trouble, flashing forward, looking to make the kill happen. Can he find that last bit of damage he needs? The Ignite is still ticking and it won't take him down. 50 HP left on Chicken Nugget who lives to see another day. Corrupt Hope, barely missing that one. I don't know if he was scared or if he was unsure, but Corrupt Hope didn't ulti before landing Q for an execute. Like he just, he, he kind of hit Q, waited around to see if he could get him a little bit lower, and then actually ulted. I, I feel like he would have got it if he had just ult Q ignite autoed, but um, he he just he didn't think about it. He must have just said whatever. Said okay, I'll, I'll get him low. But the main thing about this one v one is that like doing damage doesn't really matter at points. Because, like, okay, it's Lee Sin, you're just gonna hit him. Corrupt Hope Deep again, Chicken Nugget, looking to potentially finish him off. Down to one hit remaining. Chicken Nugget not able to find that last bit, though. That's the story of this entire game, too, is neither one of these Lee Sins being able to actually take down that last nick of health that they need to remove to take their opponent out for good. Ultimate available for Chicken Nugget if he's able to find the setup onto Corrupt Hope. Ignite ready as well. There's the kick. Resonating strike. Are you going to show up? There's the Ignite. Chicken Nugget wants to go deep. Can he fight it? He's taken down. Corrupt Hope brings this up even one to one. And that is going to be game number three being headed into with an even score. Chicken Nugget thinks he can make the dive, but Corrupt Hope brings it down. GG, well played. Stay right there. We're about to be live for game number three. It's only going to be a moment, and you don't want to miss it.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's House Party 5v5's Holy Sin Tournament. You've heard this spiel about 400 times tonight already, so I won't put you through it again. It's Corrupt Hope, it's Chicken Nugget, it's Tied 1-1, to one, and it's game number three. Coming at you live right now, I'm Captain Flowers once again casting this one, joined by Devin Jesus. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that these two players that uh, don't really main Lee Sin are here just because of a straight mechanical like outplays like like chicken nuggets master corrupt hosts what d2 d3 if not d1 i haven't checked in a while but um yeah like corrupt hope and chicken nugget are both doing really well for themselves in this series we're tied up one to one we saw the attempted dive from chicken nugget that came so very close to making this a 2-0 but corrupt hope expertly turns it around brings himself up to one to one and now we're here in game three we're effectively looking at a best of three now this was a best of five the first two games end up just being tied so here we are once again in a best of three whoever wins two of these remaining three games gets crowned the best least sin in house party 5v5 Yeah, nothing like a, a good 1v1 tourney to, to bring out some salt, bring out some uh, excitement, especially <laughs> when they actually uh, get done fast and on time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The matches being fast is one thing. The downtimes being fast, we can debate that one at a later date. Oh, yeah. I mean... We can, uh, <laughs> we, we tried. Tried.jp. <laughs> <laughs> We tried. Participation medal, boys. Chicken Nugget and Corrupt Hope looking to go home with something a little bit heavier than a participation medal. Not only do they get the title and the bragging rights if they win this one, they also get the $25 prize, so that's nothing to scoff at either. Something to keep in the back of their minds as they're playing for this one. Aggression coming out from Corrupt Hope nice and early. Ignites have been dropped, and this might be over really, really quickly. Both Ignites have been used. Corrupt Hope flashes away. Chicken Nugget looking for one more auto, but he's actually going to be the one who drops. Corrupt Hope goes up 2-1. to one. Uh, un 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 aggro, so I can describe it. It's like he flashed, and then the auto animation was going off, and it didn't go. And the minions are like, "Ah, oh, you tried, man. I'm gonna give you a constellation prize of death." Um, Corrupt so. Hope now only needs one more game to be the champion of this whole shebang. Stay tuned, everybody in Twitch chat. That one went really fast. I don't know if the next one is gonna be a slugfest or if it's gonna be equally as crazy with the level three, level four all in action. The only way to find out is to stay tuned, so don't you dare go anywhere. We're going to be live with game number four. Number four, excuse me, I've been awake for way too long, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. I just got done doing the intro about three minutes ago, but here we go one more time. It's House Party 5v5. It's the Holy Sin 1v1 tournament. It's a journey to find the best Lee Sin in all of House Party 5v5, and we're currently almost at the end of that journey. Corrupt Hope and Chicken Nugget have been squaring off here for three games now, and Corrupt Hope is currently up 2-1 to one in this best of five. If he wins this game, he's the grand champ, but if Chicken Nugget is able to pull out the W, we're going to that grand final fifth match best of five showdown. I'm Captain Flowers once again casting all the action for you, joined by Devin Jesus. Well, um, you know, there's no party like a four-hour lease in party. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, 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 the competitors are feeling it a bit right now. Um, I don't know if they're having fun playing four hours of Lee Sin. I don't know if they'll like say like never again. Like they'll just go into an in-house game. This lock-in Lee Sin, this, this <laughs> insta-ban Lee Sin every game. Like I can't, I can't anymore this champion. But uh, we will This have to see. one single event is going to take a champion that's been at least somewhat in the meta for the past like four seasons ever since he came out and just drive him out of house party completely because everyone's <laughs> going to be so Lee sinned out they never want to see him. You won't even have to ban him because it's just going to be this <laughs> mutual gentleman's agreement. No one picks this. Uh, I, I, th I think we're all just turning into XJ9 right now. Just, just I, see, I see that champion Lee Sin. I'm just going to rage because it's just like too much Lee Sin. I see it every god day like, like Jesus hey. plays it. Hey, and we're like, look, Jesus, if... please stop playing Lee Sin. I want to see something else. I don't have to All right, jet. Come on. Look, let one tricks do their one trick thing, man. Please. Um. Well, if if, if they did, uh, we'd have Jet here in the final and uh, not beating. So. Um, Ooh. Yeah. That's so that, it happens. So hey we'll man, my boy see. Jet on the Lee Sin. <laughs> I love playing with Jet because he plays one trick Lee Sin. I play one trick Skarner. Neither one of us can do our best in the same game because they're both jungle champions. But it's always a great feat of fun. Yeah, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. Corrupt Hope and Chicken Nugget, though, the stars of the show for this one. Once again, starting off here at level three, not going too deep onto each other, but making sure that they're not just watching each other farm either. A couple of love taps will be coming out nice and early as these guys try to take control of that early lane minion momentum. Um, I really hope that Chicken Nuggets learned from these last two games where he's aggroing him before six and then just dying every time. Um, hopefully he plays Here we go. It's the early 1v1 once again. Corrupto brought very low. Chicken Nuggets doesn't have the energy to be able to follow up all the way on this one, though. But now that energy is coming back. Corrupt Hope still has potential. Ignite is still ready. Chicken Nugget has to be aware of his own vulnerabilities here. But Corrupt Hope is the one who could likely die. Flash away will keep him alive for the time being. But Chicken Nugget has taken control. Oh, but a Chicken Nugget putting those words in my mouth like um like like a six piece um. That just, just <laughs> God bless God America, is... boys. Okay. Um... <laughs> Words in my mouth like a six piece. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Dead. <laughs> Bringing the dank banter to the house party 5v5 leasons. Well, well, you know, there's there's those times we say, I've been doing this for like four hours now, and you're yeah. like, I need, I'm, I'm losing it. Going a little insane. It, it, it feels like I'm waiting for the Lucker Dogs to show up for Premier League. Uh, it's just, it's just. Hey man, they showed up for at least half their games. Yeah, you're not wrong there. And they, and they, and they did just, they did sweet vanquish after showing up late for their first game. All right, back on target. We're gonna, we're gonna forget about this six-piece shenanigans for the time being as chicken nugget continues to control this lane corrupt hope still playing a little bit further back he managed to avoid getting killed he wants to try to lock this game away put the final nail in the coffin win the game right here right now take chicken nugget to the dumpster win the trophy win the prize money do everything but chicken nugget doing everything in his power to stop that from becoming a reality he can't fight corrupt hope right now that minion wave is way too big yeah, he's, 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 he wants to eat that experience before. Being a level down on Lee Sin is uh, always a bad thing. And we'll have to see how it goes. Chicken Nugget now under his turret. This is Chicken Nugget's comfort zone. The games that we've seen him do crazy things on, he spends the majority of that game just sitting here under the safety of his turret, farming it up, waiting for his opponent to take a misstep too far, and then he capitalizes every single time. These games where he's played Corrupt Hope's early game are the games that he's not able to win. 
Yeah, he needs to he needs to get out of the rut of this like corrupt hopes trap of like, hey, you want to fight me? You, you, you want to fight me? Um, so let's hope that he doesn't just fall for just getting baited. He needs to be the one doing the baiting. Gentlemen, you'll have to describe to me what's happening in the game right now in case these guys are getting into action. I was DC'd from the game for being AFK for too long. That's the problem with using the AFK and the Fountain Spectator method. But we're back now. We're ready to go. And luckily, I didn't miss anything too crazy in my 20 seconds of not being connected anymore. Corrupt Hope able to find the Sonic Wave. Resonating Strike won't follow it up. Doesn't want to jump onto his opponent for the time being. A little bit of energy depletion issues coming up for Chicken Nugget. Corrupt Hope looking to go deep. This might be the fight right here, right now. Sonic Wave comes out for Chicken Nugget. Resonating Strike connects as well. Won't be able to go any deeper with the Dragon's Rage for the time being. There it comes for Corrupt Hope. Sonic Wave is down. Resonating Strike. Ignite. Chicken okay. Nugget is about to drop. And if he does, Corrupt Hope's going to win it. Ladies and gentlemen, Corrupt Hope is your Lee Sin. Holy Sin. 1v1 House Party 5v5 Tournament Champion. Well, I, I feel like I think Corrupt Hope called us in game one where he's just like, I'm just going to reverse sweep you or something. But uh, if he did, like, that that just happened, man. Like, put just, just the positioning during that fight, they both wanted to throw each other at each other's tower, and then it just, uh, you can nugget this move a little bit too late. Corrupt Hope wins the whole thing. It's the only series we saw that doesn't end up with a clean sweep, but he still wins it. Three to one, a dominating performance coming out from this guy. Corrupt Hope, we brought you into the channel, and now I can officially present you with your title by the powers vested in me through the whoa, admin whoa, 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 whoa. icon on my account.